Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today, we're talking Sex in the City movie. We are on the first movie. So this is the third part in the series. I'm breaking it down. We're talking what's going on in the movie, some behind the scenes stuff, all that jazz. So if you haven't seen the first two, go watch those. Let's jump into the next part. But first, check out my merch link below. I got Midnight Toast, Justice for Steve. It's a load of pants. Or find me on Patreon. It's patreon.com backslash Real Housewives Recaps. Okay, so we left off with Carrie getting engaged to Big. She's told the girl she's calling Samantha. So she tells her about her big news. And Samantha thinks she's telling her that she got Botox. And Carrie's like, no, no, no. We A couple days ago, we got engaged. She... Samantha then kind of her voice drops. She's not as excited. And she says, I got to go. I'll be in touch when I'm in town next week. She ends up calling Carrie back and says, listen, I put you in the same box as me that we're not getting married box. Uh, and Carrie says, I want you to be my maid of honor. And Samantha says, well, I feel the same way about that that you feel about getting Botox. It's painful and it's unnecessary. So from here, we go over to Carrie's apartment where Charlotte is, and she has gifted Carrie Anthony, the wedding planner. So Anthony's helping her plan, and they want to know if she's picked her dress yet. And she said, oh, I've got it. It's here. And they're completely shocked because that's so not Carrie to make a big production of things, right? So she pulls it out. She says, oh, it's very simple. It's simple and classic is what she says. So he wants to know who it's by. And she said, no one. I just found it in a vintage shop. Anthony, of course, has a big reaction to this. He says that the invitation is fancier than the dress. She's like, I heard that you were meant to. Um, but she's going to style it up with some shoes. I'm very curious of your thoughts on this outfit. We are about to hit the big dress montage. So we'll talk more about the looks when we get there, but I'm curious if you like this simple dress that she's got. So here's Lily before I hated her. <laughs> oh gosh, she's awful on just like that. So yeah, this is before Lily sucks stuff started happening. But Charlotte opens the paper. She screams because Carrie is in the paper, her announcement. So we find out that John's middle name is James. So it's John James Preston. Their wedding is in page six, and she gets a happy ending, which sounds like something different. Uh, over 40, apparently, is what it's being touted as. So Carrie ends up going into Vogue, and we get to see Enid. Of course, e Enid is her editor. We've seen her in the series. She's played by Candace Bergen, and she's inviting Carrie to do the annual age issue that's what they're calling it which I would say the age issue is and just like that da -da -da hey I'm Che Diaz waka 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 <laughs> okay um so she's going to want Carrie in bridal couture she's touting it as the last single girl no pressure uh 40 is the last age a girl could be photographed in a wedding gown obviously times have changed that's not the case these are just lines from the silly silly movie Okay, so from here, Carrie pretends like she's going to think about it, but of course she's going to be in vogue. From here we see, click, click, flash, they're playing a song. That's literally the lyrics to the song, click, click, flash. Creative, huh? And they say it's just your typical Wednesday. We got Stanford, Charlotte, and Samantha there to give her support. They're taking her photograph, and this Carol Carolina... I never said that right. Carolina Herrera. They are sending pictures to Miranda. We got Christian Lacroix. Uh, in the side, we see Andre Leon Talley. Now, let me tell you, I read his book. It's fabulous. It's all about Vogue and some of his turmoil with Anna Wintour. I find that stuff fascinating. So there's that. But it was cool to see him. Unfortunately, in real life, he did just pass away not long ago. But it was cool to see him in the movie. I hate this look on Carrie. The hair is stupid. That's my thought on that. <laughs> um, not as stupid as Miranda's wig. But tell me your thoughts. This is where I want to know. Which dress do you like for her? Which dress do you not like? I personally don't hate me. I hate the Vivian Westwood dress. The one that everybody lost their mind over. I hate that dress. It's right. Uh, it's not this one. Sorry. They're going to show in a minute. But 
I don't know. I don't mind the black detail on the dress she's wearing there, but um, the hair is pretty stupid. If if you watch Real Housewives in New York, you'll remember that Alex McCord did a photo shoot where her hair was like that, and they were calling her Bride of Frankenstein. That's kind of what's going on. I do actually like this dress. Don't hate me, but I do. I like the black accents. I don't know about all those pearls. I see that, and I think, God, I fall down a lot, and I'd probably choke myself by accident. Oh, that was... Andre Leon Talley again. Don't love those pearls either. That gives me a very like Flintstones vibe when I see that. I'm kind of all over the place right now. But I get into this fashion and I don't love this. And I really don't love those pearls. But her hair looks nice there. I'll give her that. Okay. Uh, what was this? Dior. There's Dior. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. What is it with her and hats? I just, I don't love it. Mm -mm. I do like this. This is very pretty. I think it's very elegant. I love it. I like that detail on the shoulder there. I think she looks fabulous. And I actually like the big red flowers in her hair. I think something about the red offset with the white, it's just pretty on her. I think it's, it's very elegant. And I like the red lips with it too. Um, but yeah, let me know which one's your favorite. I know they flashed a million like in a row. Just curious. And then, let's see, is this a Vivian Westwood one? Let's see. Let me just tell you. Okay, so I did research, a lot of research on this. Oh, there it is. I did a lot of research on this. That's the one she freaks out over and loves. So Vivian Westwood, of course, she was known, but she got a huge boost because of this movie. Carrie made such a big deal out of this dress. It was called the bubble dress, I believe is what they said, and it sold like wildfire after this. This one was specially custom made for the movie, but a version of this was sold. Now, this is interesting. When she opens this and she sees this note from Vivian Westwood, it is actually handwritten by Vivian Westwood. That is her actual handwriting there. And I thought, damn, she writes clear. I would not, <laughs> the audience wouldn't be able to read my handwriting if I wrote that. But cool. Okay, Vivian Westwood. So there's her dress. I, you know, I can tell it's expensive. I, you know, yeah. I, do I love it? No. I think the boobs are very strange. Speaking of strange, let me tell you some weird stuff here in this scene. You know how I feel about Michael Patrick King. Blech. The evil elf on the shelf. Okay. He had a lot to say about this. So when he has that, when they are in bed, Big and Carrie, he initially, Patricia Field had dressed her in leggings and a t-shirt but he was concerned that they look too comfortable. He said that it's important to show that they are a couple that still has sex. He wanted to contrast them against Miranda and Steve, who were not having sex. So he put her in this. Also, this book, Love, Later, Love Letters of Great Men. So this was a fictional book that the writers came up with, you know, to propel the scene and to get him talking about vows and stuff. Well... There was such an outcry from the audience that they really wanted this book that it ended up being published. They made an official tie-in version and the they released it the same day as the film and they ended up getting more editions after that. These are facts I got, but then I started questioning, well, how did they know, how did people request the book before the film was released? That doesn't really make a lot of sense. I know people can screen it beforehand, but I don't know. I just feel like that's Michael Patrick King blowing smoke and saying, everybody wants this book, and then they sell it and they make a fortune off the book as well. But interesting detail. Uh, we'll pick it up from here. I'm going to cut it off here. And yeah, I, it's so much fun to rewatch this movie. Thank you guys so much for watching. You know, I'll be back with another one of these very soon, and I can't wait to keep going with this movie. I want to learn more facts about it. I want to talk more about the fashion. I want to talk about what's going on in the movie. Thank you guys so much. Do hit that like button. That really does help me out. If you're into Patreon, check that out. If you're looking for some merch, I got that too. Thank you guys for everything, and I will talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.